Hello there and welcome to Lower 6 Maths A Level Practice Paper C. Here we're working on question 10, a tricky trigonometry question to do with triangles. The diagram shows the triangle ABC and AC is equal to 8x minus 3. Uh, BC is 4x minus 1, ABC is 120, and ACB is uh, 15 degrees. Show that the exact value of x is 9 plus root 6 over 20. Okay, so what I'm thinking with this triangle here is sine or cosine rule, because it's not right angled. Um, we've got one angle in its opposite side and one side with no angle. We could potentially work this out. So 135, so 180 minus 135, that makes it a 45 degree angle up here. Okay, so now we've got two pairs of opposite sides and angles. So sine rule. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is if we want to work out x, I'm probably going to want x on the top of my formulas. So I'm going to have um, 8x minus 3 over um, sine of 120 um, equals um, 4x minus 1 over sine 45. Okay, sine of 120, it does say exact value, so I do need to find the exact value of sine 120. Could do it on my calculator, or I could recall some of these angle facts that I've learnt earlier. So 180 degrees here is on the sine curve, so 120 degrees must match up with the 60 degree for sine. That's root 3 over 2. So following on here, 8x minus 3 over root 3 over 2 is going to equal 4x minus 1 over 1 over root 2. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm probably going to um, multiply, cross multiply over, multiply that up to there and that up to there. So it's going to be 8x minus 3 over root 2. That's what would happen if I multiply it up to that side over there. And with the second one here, it's going to be root 3, lots of 4x minus 1 over 2. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is times through by 2. This is going to affect this down here. So it's going to have 2 over root 2. That will cancel down to just root 2 on the top and 8x minus 3 on the top there, and times it by 2 on the right-hand side is not going to affect anything on the top. So root 3, 4x minus 1. Right, uh, looks like we've got a lot more work to do on this, so we're trying to get isolate x on its own, so expand the brackets, so it's going to be 8 root 2, lots of x, minus 3 root 2, equals 4 root 3 x minus uh, root 3. So taking the uh, x onto the left and any other numbers onto the right, so this is going to be 8 root 2 x minus 4 root 3 x equals 3 root 2 minus root 3. So I've added that x onto that side, I'm going to take away the x onto that side. Factorise out your x now, so x is going to equal, um, so x bracket I'm factorising here, 8 root 2 minus 4 root 3 will equal the right hand side. And now we divide by what we've got in the, uh, in the bracket here, so it's going to be 3 root 2 minus root 3 over 8 root 2 minus 4 root 3. Right, okay, this uh, this is not good enough so far. Now we could plug that into the calculator and we'll get 9 plus root 6 over 20 out. However, we probably need to show it given that it's 7 marks for this question. So the way we do this is we times the top and the bottom by the conjugate of the denominator, so 8 root 2 plus 4 root 3 over 8 root 2 plus 4 root 3. 
So uh, what we're going to now do is expand some double brackets on the denominators and numerators. So 3 root 2 times 8 root 2, that's going to be 24 times 2, that'll make it 48. So you see here the 3 times 8 will make a 24 and the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 will make a 2. So that's going to make 48 combined. Uh, 3 root 2 times 4 root 3, that'll make plus 12 root 6. Uh, doing the back one now, this will be minus 8 root 6, and this one here is going to be uh, minus 4 times 3, which is 12. Over 8 root 2 times 8 root 2, that's 64, and the root 2 times root 2 is 2, so that would be 128. Um, we're then going to get uh, 32 root 6, and then minus 32 root 6, so that will cancel. And then that times that is going to be minus 16 and root 3 times root 3 is 3 so 16 times 3 is 48 so it's going to be x over so 48 take away 12 that's going to be 36 minus 12 root 6 minus 8 root 6 so that's going to be 4 root 6 that's so plus 4 root 6 over 128 minus 48, so that's going to be over 80. And then simplifying down by cancelling out 4s from top and bottom, we get 9 plus root 6 over 20. Great, okay, that was some really long bits of algebra there and expanding brackets. There's lots of thirds involved there, so don't be surprised if you don't hiccup along the way. Uh, what you've got to be able to do is start from the beginning again and track down where you're um, where your accidental mistake was, I'm sure it would be accidental, but don't be surprised if you don't get this first time, don't be surprised if you have to work backwards um, and, and track down any silly mistakes you've made. Right, okay, the next part is find the area of triangle ABC, giving your answer to two decimal places. So I think I've got B, C and sine, sorry, A, B and sine C here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use area equals half A, B, sine C. Okay, and what we have to do here is it's just going to be to one to two decimal places. So I'm going to do most of the work for this on my calculator. So a half times, now A is 4, lots of 9 plus root 6 over 20. Take away 1. So that's what A is. B is going to be 8 times 9 plus root 6 over 20, take away 3, and then it's going to be times by sine of 15, half a b sine c, get the calculator out, put all of that into your calculator all in one go, and it's going to be um, 0.26 to two decimal places. Okay, great. That's a uh, 10 marks for that question.